Chapter 35 This is the message the Lord gave Jeremiah when Jehoiakim, son of Josiah, was king of Judah. Go to the settlement where the families of the Rechabites live and invite them to the Lord's temple. Take them into one of the inner rooms and offer them some wine. So I went to see Jeazaniah, son of Jeremiah, and grandson of Habazaniah, and all his brothers and sons, representing all the Rechabite families. I took them to the temple, and we went into the room assigned to the sons of Hanan, son of Igdaliah, a man of God. This room was located next to the one used by the palace officials directly above the room of Measiah, son of Shalom, the temple gatekeeper. I set cups and jugs of wine before them and invited them to have a drink, but they refused. No, they said, we don't drink wine because Jehonadab, son of Rechab, our ancestor, gave us this command. You and your descendants must never drink wine, and do not build houses or plant crops or vineyards, but always live in tents. If you follow these commands, you will live long, good lives in the land. So we have obeyed him in all these things. We have never had a drink of wine since then, nor have our wives, our sons, or our daughters. We haven't built houses, or owned vineyards, or farms, or planted crops. We have lived in tents, and have fully obeyed all the commands of Jehonadab, our ancestor. But when King Nebuchadnezzar of Babylon arrived in this country, we were afraid of the Babylonian and Aramean armies, so we decided to move to Jerusalem. That is why we are here. Then the Lord gave this message to Jeremiah. The Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says, Go and say to the people in Judah and Jerusalem, Come and learn a lesson about how to obey me. The Rechabites do not drink wine because their ancestor Jehonadab told them not to. But I have spoken to you again and again, and you refuse to listen or obey. I have sent you prophet after prophet to tell you to turn from your wicked ways and to stop worshipping other gods, so that you might live in peace here in the land I gave to you and your ancestors. But you would not listen to me or obey. The families of Rechab have obeyed their ancestor completely, but you have refused to listen to me. Therefore the Lord God Almighty, the God of Israel, says, Because you refuse to listen or answer when I call, I will send upon Judah and Jerusalem all the disasters I have threatened. Then Jeremiah turned to the Rechabites and said, This is what the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, says. You have obeyed your ancestor Jehonadab in every respect, following all his instructions. Because of this, Jehonadab, son of Rechab, will always have descendants who serve me. I, the Lord Almighty, the God of Israel, have spoken.